Hey guys, fun fact, especially for houses built in the 2000s. So a lot of us actually have RJ11 ports inside our home. What is an RJ11? RJ11 port is what was built in the 70s so people could connect their landline phones to their walls. A lot of us don't have landlines anymore. We use cell phones, etc. Some of us are lucky enough to have the cable behind those RJ11s needed to convert it into an RJ45. That's a fancy way of saying you can plug ethernet cables into it. Let me show you what an RJ11 looks like versus an RJ45. This is an RJ11. You would actually have a phone maybe connected to the wall or on the surface. You would plug the RJ11 into this port. A lot of us get it confused with ethernet cable ports. They're not. And an easy way to test that is take an ethernet cable. This is the end of what you would find in the ethernet cable. Look familiar, right? Try plugging it in here and what you're gonna see is it's too big. It won't fit. This is too small. This is too big. So what we're gonna do is first, we're going to take a look at what's behind that RJ11. Do I have the necessary uh, wires needed to convert it into an RJ45? Then we're gonna actually find out, is it even worth converting? Maybe I can't even find where the cable runs through because I need to see what's on the other end so I can connect it to my switch, right? And then finally, we're gonna do the conversion. So I'm gonna show you how I do that step by step. All right, so here are the cables exposed. We got a trace to where this goes. I'm gonna use this tracer. We're gonna turn it on. You hear that? Okay, you hear something. Now I'm actually gonna turn on the other end of this, the other tool have some low voltage come through and you're gonna hear a difference. I'll be back. I turn on the other side, turns back on. You hear that? You hear the difference? You hear almost like a whistling. You didn't hear that earlier. So there you go. We found where this goes and it is in a good place. It's where I can actually plug in my switch. So next step, now that we've confirmed that these are Cat5 E cables, and we can actually plug it into a switch because we've checked the source. Now it's time to convert it. Let's convert it. I'm actually just now realizing how, how long this cable is, so I can actually, I'm just not gonna go through all this, I'm gonna cut it. So I also see that the builders had wrapped something around here, and I think these are the other cables for Cat5, so I'm also just start fresh. Fun fact, this has been with me for 20 years. All right, here is the keystone jack we're gonna use. This is a simple one from Cable Matters. You can get it on Amazon, up on links down below. This is a CAT6 RJ45 keystone jack. On these, it tells you exactly where the cable's gonna go. There are two different, um, different wiring schemes, see here. We're gonna be doing the T56 8B. T56 8B, as much as you would think A comes first and we should do A, B is kind of like the standard, especially in the US. So we're gonna follow that. So what that really means is we're going to look at the bottom row, solid green, stripe green, solid orange, stripe orange. And we're gonna do that in that order. On this side, we're gonna do the same thing. Stripe blue, solid blue, stripe brown, solid brown. And then we're gonna do that here. 
I actually have a little uh, punch down tool. I'm not sure what this is called. It's like a little punch down block. Why this is helpful, you don't need it, okay? You absolutely don't need it. You could put this here and just start putting cables in. It's just kind of easy to be a guy. So the way this works is there's an A, B, and C. We're gonna use B. We're gonna squeeze this in. It's gonna look like this. We're gonna go like that. Now we are going to do this. We're gonna put this here, right? And now we're gonna follow the wiring scheme. So here, it's supposed to be the blues. So let's get the blues over here. Okay, blues, blues. I'm gonna fast forward this. Solid. Cool. They are in. See what that looks like? Okay. Now, we're gonna use this. We're gonna use this blade to punch it down and cut the cable. So now, that it's in, we want the cutting side to face the outside. Punch down. There you go. So let's see. Yeah, that's nice. Hold on, these didn't cut well. Sure. Yep. Cool. Now we have All right, here's the ultimate test. So I put the keystone jack upstairs. I already took this part out and connected it upstairs. Now I just got to see if I plug this in. This is a Cat6 cable. I'm going to plug this on the other end of this and let's turn it on. All right, it's on. Now I'm going to press this button. Awesome. I got a pass. So that X over means that I didn't look at the patch panel upstairs, unfortunately, but it's crossed over, which is okay. That's like something that was way back in the days. Switches these days don't care if it's it's crossover. It used to be just for uplink, and now it knows how to resolve itself. Uh, so I should be good to go. Now let me plug in like real equipment and see how this ends up working.